Yo, what's good, family? This is Next Door Deck Upside Radio Live, man. And this week on Book Burners, we got Thug Money in the building, man. What's the advocate. Oh. Oh, shit, y'all. It's Thug Money in this bitch. Welcome back. <laughs> Triple Threat VAOGs, Noko. Money. It seems like you're in that pimping shit, man. I, 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 I don't even want to hold it back. But I want to get straight into it because lately North Carolina has been bubbling. I want to understand what was going on and how did you even get a, a mind state like that? Well, honestly, it's, it's more of my lifestyle. That's all. Uh, my music is according to my, my lifestyle. So you can hear me doing trap music. You can hear me doing love songs. You can hear me doing country songs right now. Uh, I'm really trying to work on some bluegrass. So that's where I'm at. So I should have known that. I should have known by the hey, I should have known by the hat he had some country with him too. So so bluegrass. What would make you think about bluegrass and what's the difference between blues, bluegrass, and, and typical country? Like what what was separated for you? To me, uh, I really love the the instruments in the bluegrass, like it speaks to me. So therefore, like I know country music speaks to me like uh, Tennessee whiskey. Like, that's something I love. So you know, or the drink. No, it's a song called Sweet Tennessee Whiskey Country. See, <laughs> and now you putting that stuff on game now. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so as far as bluegrass, is it is it? Is it anything in bluegrass that separates it from like what what our people would call a typical country, classic country? Yes, it's it's very different because you can actually get there. You can take a a pair of spoons and start you know making beats with it on on your hands. Yeah, it's just yes, they do it all. So that's something I'm looking forward to. Mainly the instrumentation choice. Yes. Uh, so, so is it banjo style? I guess is it still a banjo? <laughs> I mean, some of them play banjo, some of them don't. Like, all you have to do is go look, look it up, and you you'll see where I'm coming from. You'll see and you'll understand why I chose it because of my my musical, you know, ears. Mm. Mm. Do you play the instruments yourself? I used to play the violin. Um, I used to play the drums for the church, so I learned how to play the keyboard. Can I play it now? No. So, but I can play uh, violin just a little bit. Let's talk about some of the tracks you went through today. The first one you gave us was Arrival. Right. I want to be the first to welcome you back to North Carolina again. Um, I heard a lot of big situations are going on for you. Um, what, what's new with, with, with Carolina and why Carolina? Carolina's showing me a lot of love, so I like to show the love back. So whenever, whenever I can come out here and do anything, I come out here and like help feed the homeless, whatever the case may be. Boy, that's dope. I got a phone call like Thursday. Like, yeah, I need to be ready. Got a guy coming in. So, uh -oh. so I say it got to be something big going on, and I and I completely feel you on that. That's something I was telling the Makita. Yes. Hey. Yes. So with with arrival. What was, uh, what was some of your thought process? What was the atmosphere like for you mentally um, and emotionally that uh, kind of led up to that track? Well, that arrival track is really it's coming off of my solo album, which is called My Kingdom. The Advocates. Oh. Oh, shit, y'all. It's the money in this bitch. Welcome back. <laughs> Triple threat VAOGs, Noko. High rise in the game. Throw money is the name. I swear I'm a whore. Get the Mac at the door. 
swear to God I got a whore Chop on the floor Bad bitch in the room So fashionable High rise in the game The money is the name I swear I'm a whore Keep the Mac at the door Swear to God I got a whore Chop on the floor Bad bitch in the room So fashionable One then a two Full clip with the door Ride with the crew So nasty my fool Slutter out, let her loose Commentator got the jewels Break her off, I suppose Triple threat, how it goes Dancing with the stars Wizard of the Oz Don't be alarmed Finger fucker, adios Hand a phantom with the claws Defecator got a toss Rapid fire, here it goes Molly Ma, oh no High arrive in the game The money is the name I swear I'm a whore Keep the Mac at the door Swear to God I got a whore Chop on the floor Bad bitch in the room So fashionable High rise in the game The money is the name I swear I'm a whore Keep the Mac at the door Swear to God I got a whore Chop on the floor Bad bitch in the room So fashionable Billy Jean with the door Fettuccine with the wall Copper Deuce got the goals Repetitious look at you Use a goddamn fool Chad boys jacking, come across I'm taxing. Sorry, Miss Jackson, affirmative action. Prostitution, I'm a savage. Possession, no traveling. Chris Cross gotta have it. High rise in the game. The money is the nine. I swear I'm a whore. Keep the Mac at the door. Swear to God I got a whore Chop on the floor Bad bitch in the room So fashionable High rise in the game The money is the night I swear I'm a whore Keep the Mac at the door Swear to God I got a whore Chop on the floor Bad bitch in the room so fashionable. Uh, basically, you know, it's it's like three forms of it. I have one form is the VAOGs. Uh, the then you have another form is my solo track is I rap. That's where you really see who I really am. Besides VAOGs, that's all. Is VAOGs a group? Uh, yes, VAOGs, Virginia's official gorillas, triple threat VAOGs. <laughs> and you know, I really, I, forgive me for thinking it was going to be typical Virginia <laughs> or original gangsters. I, give it to them one time, I think. <laughs> triple threat VAOGs, triple threat Virginia's official gorillas. Come on, man. Hell, I don't know what the going on here. So, how was it transitioning from, from, from Triple Threat and the VAOGs into your your arrival for yourself as being a solo artist or taking some of the solo projects on yourself? Um, for real, for real, it, it, it just came about, you know, one of our members got locked up, so at the same time, we just went ahead and started working on our solo album until he come home. So that's what, when I came up with our rap, so, I'm, I'm coming back, but I'm coming back as myself as of right now until one of our members come back from you know being locked up in the penitentiary right now. And until y'all can officially yeah. step out as the whole again, yeah. you guys gonna keep doing your individual thing and keep taking your strides. Yeah. It, do you think it's gonna be a hard transitioning back from a solo situation 
into a, a group situation again? No. I don't, honestly, no, we have that chemistry. So, you know, it's, it's, we just show love to each other like right now. Uh, even though I remember in the penitentiary, but he's still banging out music, you know? So it's just love shown there. So whatever one do, all do. That's all. VAOG is more than an organization. They gotta be a family sound. Right. Like. Hey, sound dope. But how long you guys work together? Huh. Uh, the group originally started probably in 08. Probably, yeah, around about 08. Were, were you, were you the oldest that kind of led everybody into music? It, it, was there a certain one that kind of led everybody into it, even doing it first? And everybody was just around, you got to jump into it. How did it go? How did you how did you even take an interest into the music? My interest in the music, it, it really started with my mom. You know, she made me start writing poems. I was going to Douglas Park Elementary. She entered my poem into the uh, nationals, and I won the nationals. And then, on top of that, we used to write poems back and forth. So after the poems, she just told me, hey, won't you start doing music? So then she broke it down to me. Every day she made me listen to beats instrumentals and break every instrumental down in my head and made me recite every instrument back to her. Message parents. <laughs> hey message. <laughs> we say it starts, it starts at home folks. <laughs> hey that's dope. I, man I used to drive over crazy with making beats and stuff. How how did it feel to be able to work on music with your mom? Like was it was it uh, Mom, or was it more like? No, it was it was exciting for real, for real because like for me, I, my passion is writing. So mm. once I can just take my poem to my mom, my mom would read it, and she would write it right back. Like she would coexist into my poem. So you know that that passion it drove me. Like it, it drives me crazy. So that's why I really love writing. Mm. Mm. Let's talk. What they say, <laughs> what they say, what they say. What's going on with that? What you say is a form of I'm tired of I'm tired of people talking. Either you gonna step up your game, or or you not. You know, is is about car clubs. I'm tired of people talking about oh they got nice cars, they got this, they got that. Well look, I done stepped out into the scene. I showed you what I got and I put the music out there for you to hear. I heard you say I heard, I, heard, I heard you say <laughs> you checking out my grill but I ain't talking about my teeth. <laughs> Y'all know what's going on. <laughs> so listen, so you that would kinda you got into your car club? You guys are in car clubs? Yes, uh I used to ride with MBH motivated by haters. Then I had um, uh, exclusive riders, which that track was sold to exclusive riders. So yeah, you know I did my little thing. I had a grandma kiss with Lambo doors. You knew so I was gonna ask. You knew I was gonna ask. <laughs> yeah. So then I got rid of that. Then I got a Buick Lucerne. Um, I had 24s on that. Got rid of that. I just got me uh, two BMWs and a Mercedes Benz. So I'm oh, working on board right now. <laughs> yeah. American play that. <laughs> yeah. So my next move, hopefully, pretty soon will be a Bentley. So, yeah. Shit, I, I hate <laughs> dreams. I'm gonna take my try to buy a little, a little fix up plane. Damn, man, fucking no. That was a Bentley, man. <laughs> Big money. Yeah, man. The revelation, obviously, completely different than the song selection that you chose for today. Yo, what's good, family? We started out with his arrival. Then he told us more about what you say. Then he blessed us with his revelation. Hi right, yo, this week on Booth Burners, man, we got Thug Money on the building, man. Thug Money, talk to the people, tell them a little bit more about what you got going on. All right, first and foremost, that arrived song, that, that tell y'all I'm coming out hard and strong. Nobody can interfere, nobody's coming harder than I will, and I am the best at whatever this shit is coming. Tell me, did you strategically place your music for this booth by the second day? Are you telling me? <laughs> hey, listen, y'all better step y'all game up, man. Hey, listen, it's getting tough out here. Oh, we come, they coming with game plans, they coming with strategies, <laughs> and they got set lists and orders, boy, and it's making sense, man. Hey, yo, I heard that you're down here for some big moves, big changes. What's big, what's new, and, and what made Carolina be a part of it? Well, 
it, it really all started off when I was coming out here. I did my little birthday bash like two years ago. You know, mad people showed me love. Even I had a limo service to this day tell me to call them up. They got me whatever. So it was like Carolina was the thing, my fam out here. So might as well come out here and make these big moves, you know, and, and show some love at the same time from VA. Hey, thank God for that summer hospitality, <laughs> baby. Hey, listen, man, we're going to say some of this content for the desk. Y'all know that's where we get at it best. I'd like to thank y'all for coming out or listening to this track. So, I'ma end it like this. Exclusive Tony Fast. Grinding is forever. Greater than treasure. Measure whoever. Honor the Father. Which stories come from heaven. No pain and I'm eating to my knees. Who doubt it? And when they come back, trust a couple stacks. I don't need a step back. I don't have to worry. Wifey on a hundred. Hundred miles running. Boys from above. More stop hating. Pluto stop drinking. Pop on these spinach like the fitness need witness. Can I get a witness? Hoes are explicit. Women are tremendous. Preachers are sinners. Mama don't get it. Papa stay missing. Question what above. Fuck the drunk in love. Love for my daughter. Catch the clips with me. I'm a teacher like that. My daughter so fly. Yeah, we ran right now. Back to my hustle, branding is my pleasure Searching for that treasure, never what it was Always what it is, come with just a bitch Exclusive Tony Fat Mark, Mark, yo Mark Got time to talk Oh, uh, well, you don't believe in it? Welcome to my world, buddy This Nobody's is giving you no title What made that? What made you want to have that in the song selection with the other tracks? And why was it such a, an important thing for you to make sure you heard? That particular song is really how I felt and basically what I've been through with my own parents, you know, and I also have a daughter, so I know there's many people out there that listen to that track, feel what I felt, you know? So I just let people into, in my, in my little world, just a little insight of, you know, what I had to endure and why I thank God from sometimes from the situations, you know, he done took me out of. So that's why I made that song. Is it safe to say family has a, a big uh, importance on the music? No, not my family. Ah. <laughs> I'm not even going with, for real, for real, my biggest influence on my music is myself and my daughter. That's it. You know, I do, I do my music for my daughter. That's real. How old is she? She's 14. So. Hey, yeah. boy. <laughs> hey. Now let's discuss this. This is going to be good. We're going to need this feedback. As a rapper, as an artist, and sometimes some of the content that we make, I'm guilty myself. Shout out Jay Baby. That's my 13 year old girl right there. As, a, as an artist, is it sometimes do we find conflict in some of the content that we choose to put out? Yes, it's, it's just like uh, when we use the, the bitch, when we call the bitch, you know, in our songs, right? And please trust me, yes. I am one that, that will say it in my song, but, you know, when I look at my daughter, it's like, do I really want somebody to call my daughter a bitch? So it, it, it does have a conflict. And my daughter do say, well, dad, you know, I don't like this, that, and that, and the third. So I'm like, okay, man, right, so, you know. But other than that, she loves the music. So, and she always say, I'm famous, I'm famous. So, you know. Yeah, it's real. <laughs> Exclusive, niggas. This what is do? Downtown Music. What you talking about, my nigga? What you talking about? What you say? What you say? If you ain't talking about exclusive, what you talking about? What you talking about, my nigga? What you talking about? What you say? What you say? If you ain't talking about exclusive, what you talking about? What you talking about, my nigga? What you talking about? 
What you say? What you say? My money talk, my star right. Can the paint off the chain? Ain't got a flex when I ride by. My doors fly, your tip where I get stabbed by the bad back. Yo, miss is my mistress. She looking at the grill, ain't talking about my teeth. Exclusive rider, I ball hard. Boss hard, no outlaw. Representing that pistol city. Uptown, that downtown. Get yeah, money, that's a dope habit. No fabrication, you a fabricator. I don't see your hoes. Wanna be me, you see me. Can't touch me, I don't trust your hoes. Squad up, hang it up, and then stop there. Flash a nigga, go cop there. Whip it up, come right back. Exclusive niggas don't fall back. We all out, you haul ass. Pretty slow, but so loud. See the crowd, we all out. Exclusive riders, you heard about. Notorious, so glorious. Them OGs, some warriors. Pardon me, excuse me. Intrusion for these bitch niggas. These snakes, niggas. These broke niggas. These joke niggas. Going low, nigga, with the poke, nigga. Folk tales, I've been trail exclusive, nigga. What you talking about, my nigga? What you talking about? What you say? What you say? I can tell you, I think, I think, I think that's a, a tough topic that a lot of artists, even if they do dive into that, they, I don't think a lot of us tend to be real with ourselves enough to actually embrace it, or I don't think a lot of us are in situations where we're raising young young ladies, because these aren't little girls anymore. <laughs> so like, um, when it came to a, a up and coming artist, a younger artist, what kind of advice would you give them as far as content? And, and understanding the balance between content, how to deliver it, and how to respond. For one, if you if you're gonna do this music, do it from your heart, not to be famous, you know, not for money. Do it because you love it, you know. But for second, if you're gonna do this music, make sure you do it right, and you tell a story that you're living, not not a story that you know somebody else is living, you know. So I mean. All in all, invest in yourself. If you really think you have something, invest in yourself. You are your biggest investor. You are your biggest critic. So make sure you take that to your grave, you know? Hey, yo, I ain't gonna tell you a lot, but what's some more last things that the people need to know about you before you get up out of here, man? Well, what's something, if you could only give them one phrase, most people give you about five phrases right here. That better be some money, Carl. <laughs> oh, that better be some money, Carl. <laughs> yeah. My phrase is, everybody tighten up. That's it. Tighten up. This is Next Door Deck Upside Radio Live. And you know what the f*** I say when you see me. <laughs> Play my shit, friends. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> this is Boom Brothers, man. Live with Talk Money, man. The Advocate. <laughs> Oh shit, yeah. Stub money in this bitch. Welcome back. <laughs> Triple threat VAOGs, knuckle. Triple threat, how it goes. 